Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and this is yet another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. Tonight's tutorial, I thought we would do something a little different. Uh, it's a multi-part type tutorial uh, to teach you a little bit of the finer aspects of what you can do with Photoshop Elements and a little bit of an imagination uh, and what you can come up with. Uh, before we get started, if you have a minute, check out uh, my website here, Jack's Tech Corner. Dot com and you can find a lot of video tutorials on these DVDs and there's a lot of different uh, tips and tricks like you're going to see in this video so once again it's jackstechcorner.com stop by and have a look and uh, see what you think of the DVDs in this video tutorial we're going to learn a lot of people are having a lot of trouble with pulling pictures from one layer to the other and you know with the new Photoshop Elements 9 just like uh, in Photoshop Elements 8 it kinda does this tab thing up here so you start to have this tab thing going on and what seems to happen is uh, people have a hard time pulling from one tab into the other and so I'm going to show you a couple little tricks there it makes it a little bit easier for you so what I thought I would do is I took this picture a while ago uh, but this is just a, a green screen picture it's very easy to do. Um, so the first part is how do we get the green out of there? This is called chroma keying. How do we get the green screen out and just have the person sitting there in the picture? Well what we're going to do is we have the picture here. We're going to duplicate the background layer. Control J on the Mac or Command or Command J on the Mac, Control J on the PC. Duplicate the background layer. Now I'll go up to filter and I have Green Screen Wizard on here, which is one of the show's sponsors. So you may want to stop by uh, my website on jackstechcorner.com. Click on the picture for Green Screen Wizard and have a look at his site. Um, just, like I said, use my link and go right to his site. And this is some fantastic software, folks. Uh, the gentleman that wrote this, his first name is Ken. I personally talked to him on the phone. He's a really, really good guy. He'll help you out uh, anytime you need it. But what we're going to do here is go to three-layer system. And we're going to remove the green screen here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to output transparency information. You can see it removes the green. And if you have some bad lighting like up in here, you don't really need to worry about that. We're going to crop it. But you can adjust everything with these background adjusters here. You can uh, remove more green screen or less just by simply moving these adjusters around here. Once it looks pretty good, just simply click OK. And Green Screen Wizard is going to do all the work for you, taking that green screen out of there. Uh, green screen photography is a lot of fun, folks. Uh, here we go. We're going to take a look at this. I'll just shut this uh, layer off over here. And now you can see that that is me sitting there with no more chroma key or no more green screen behind me. Now, with that said, that's the first part of this video tutorial was the green screen part of it. Now let's go ahead and open up this picture. And this is a picture of a wine glass or maybe a margarita glass or whatever. Um, I actually took this picture. If you look here. I took the picture and I resized it, so I wanted to resize it down a little bit. I'll shut this one off for you for a minute. So I took this picture and then all I did was I used my uh, quick selection tool. I selected it and I deleted out the background. So I got rid of the unneeded part of this picture. And if you click this back on. And then what I did was once I had the picture, I simply clicked on it and I'm able to resize it. And I want it about that size. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make another layer on this picture. Because what we want to do here is take this person. Take this and put it inside this glass. And you can do this a couple different ways. A few of you are going to say, Jack, you could use a mask for that. But I like to go a little bit overboard. And a lot of you know that with my videos. So the first thing we're going to do is cut this part of the glass out. So let's use the quick selection tool 
And we're going to go right here. And we're going to actually get right in here, select more of this. Come down here. Now, if you go outside the lines, that's okay because remember with the quick selection, you can go up here and hit the minus, and we can actually remove some of that. Just like that. Go up along there. We'll go across this top here because we actually want it to be on that top rim. I'll show you why in just a minute. And you can use this uh, technique with a lot of different projects you're going to be working with uh, Photoshop Elements. Uh, right here, it looks like we need a little bit more of that glass. So we're going to click here. We're going to just go right here and just kick, pick up some more of that glass. Uh, there we go. We'll go with that. Once you have the part selected that you want, go up to Layer. New Layer via Copy. Now you'll see you just have the front part of that glass. Now we're going to reselect that and all I did was I held the command key down or the control key and clicked on it. And you get what a lot of people on YouTube refer to as marching ants going around there. Once you have that, click back on your glass layer and hit your delete key. That's going to leave you with something like that. That's on, that's off on off all right so what we have now is we are going to take that off and we're going to simply go back here to select deselect so we deselected everything on that glass let's go back here now we're going to select everything select all and now instead of dragging and dropping let's go to edit and copy merged we'll go back here go to edit and paste and now you see instead of dragging and dropping we just pasted that image into our new image we're going to move this and you can see it made a new layer we're going to move that up to about where it needs to be here size it down Because in the end, what you want here, you want it to be in the glass, like he's coming out of the glass. Could even size it down a little bit more. Now, once you turn on that front layer, you're going to have him coming out of the glass. There you go. See, now the glass is wrapped clear around him there. And I know you can probably do that with a mask. And, you know, just uh, go over with white there and color it out. But I like to be a little bit more dramatic. So now we have our picture laid out here, our total picture. The last part of this tutorial I wanted to do was, is to put that picture somewhere where it would be more interesting. So I have that done. Let's go up here to select all. So everything's selected. Edit copy merged now we're going to open up this picture of a bar I thought you know a wine glass or a margarita glass could be on a bar let's go up to edit paste and here it is we're going to pull it up pull it down somewhat until we can see our handles here so we can start sizing it it is quite big and you know with layers and sizing you could just pull it around the thing when you're pulling this around make sure this is checked up here folks constrain proportions because this way when you go to the corner it doesn't make the picture person thin or fat I'm sure you've seen that before what we're going to do is get this glass as small as we can get it even smaller and you take this glass, maybe even a little smaller. 
You can take the glass and pull over here on the bar. Now if you click off of it, now you have yourself sitting in a glass on the bar. And what's neat about this is you can click here, and that layer is selected. You can do a Command J again, and make some copies of it, and just simply pull them out. Just click on this one, pull it out. So if you're doing a party for anybody or anything like that, I mean, you can very much uh, have a lot of fun with that. Looks like there's one more in there. Yep. Just pull that out there. And there you go. Very, very easy, simple technique. Uh, it's very fun to do, you know, a little bit of imagination, you can do a lot. The bar picture, I actually didn't take that. Um, thank you to anybody that actually posted that. I found it on Google Images. Uh, it's a very nice picture of a bar. And you can do that, folks, when you're looking for stock images. Check out Google Images and uh, just type in what you're looking for. I do suggest you always click on the large picture uh, to get the best shot and, and the best resolution you can use. So hopefully you enjoyed this video tutorial. Of um, We kind of did some green screening on this video tutorial. We did um, copy and pasting instead of dragging uh, layers onto layers. Um, and, you know, you learn more about layers, how you can actually uh, just copy pictures and move them around on your screen. So you learned a little bit more about layers. You also learned about Green Screen Wizard once again. I know we touched on that quite a while ago. Uh, Ken is a really great guy. Once again, if you're going to purchase the Green Screen Wizard, he has a standalone uh, program or a plugin for either Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Um, and the plugins work great on the Mac, and they work uh, equally well on the PC. So you're well covered there with Ken. Um, just to throw it out there, if you do any video uh, green screen work, he does also have a new program. I think it's called Zipped or Zipper. Uh, him and another gentleman have been working on it, and you can now do video green screen photography work uh, with um, video footage. So it's, it's interesting. Take a look at it. Uh, he has a ton, I mean an absolute ton of backgrounds, so that's there for you also. Um, and once again, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more, you may want to stop by jackstechcorn.com and check out the DVD collection. Uh, I try not to put that out there too much because people say, Jack, you advertise too much. And, but um, it does, it really helps to pay uh, for the web hosting fees for the websites. Uh, it helps to pay for all this software because Elements want to uh, make a new version about every eight months now. So I, I keep up on those and I keep buying them so I can keep bringing these uh, uh, great tutorials to you to help you out. So until next time, as always, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and you too will come up with some fantastic ideas. I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.